So there's a new house called the House of Oud, focusing on Oud fragrances. I've got Lauren here with me from Lola Sense, and Lauren and I are going to go over the uh, fragrances in the House of Oud collection that I've received at Accense here in these little boxes. Coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great. That's right, Lauren is here with me from Lola Sense. Hi. And she's already done a first impressions video for the House of Oud fragrances. And since she's nearby, I thought, let's have her over and do first impressions since I've been wanting to go through these fragrances since I got back from Milan. So first off, thank you for doing this video with me. Oh, thank you for having me. For sure. Tell me a little bit about the House of Oud fragrances, I guess, since you've already reviewed them <laughs> or uh, done your first impressions of them. Well, there's 10 fragrances. There's two collections and um, they... I have nine here, right? Total? You have nine here, but you do have the newest one, which I haven't smelled yet. So I wonder I'm what's missing though. Excited. You have, you're you missing the limited edition, the Crop 2016. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Maybe they didn't have that, but it it's, seems like it's missing out of here, but I know it, this is what I got, so... Okay, so I guess a little bit about the brand. It's an Italian guy who started uh, the House of Oud. Andrea Thero. Andrea Thero. Mm -hmm. And he started it with a, um, another guy who imports Oud or something. Is that what it is? Something along those lines. Yeah, so the house is a little unfamiliar with me. So, But there's, there's a little bit of a hype going on in the fragrance uh, communities on Facebook. And of course, their, their booth at the Exenze was amazing. I have some photos which I'll actually post here on this video. But um, let's get started. What should we smell first? Um, well, we'll start with the first collection, um, which is the Desert Day collection. Desert Day collection, okay. And uh, first off, we have Wind Heat. Okay, so Wind Heat. Wind Heat. All right. It's a leather, very peppery. Like the pepper just hits me right off the bat. And the rose, I get that. I got no rose. Right away, oh, I get a lot of rose. So for notes, we've got black pepper at the top. For mid notes, we've got rose, freesia, peony. For base, we've got suede and musk. So I'm picking up the peony and the freesia, hardly any rose, but uh, major black pepper and some musk and leather. I get a lot of leather. You do get a lot of leather? Mm-hmm. This is not my favorite fragrance. It's, yeah, mine neither. Your neither. But I, I don't, rose I don't... isn't my favorite uh, note in fragrances. Oh, it isn't? So this oh. wouldn't be one that appeals to me. But see, I'm not picking up much rose. Maybe it's because I don't like it. I pick up <laughs> a lot of it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, so this is number one. It's called Wind Heat. And uh, the name doesn't make sense to me, so I guess we're gonna figure out why this is called wind heat as it goes on, or will we not? Dry wind, I don't know, in the desert? Maybe. Is that what you would smell in the desert? Yeah. The dry desert? Interesting, okay, wind heat, not my cup of tea. Okay, next we have golden powder. Golden powder. So you got a chance to see these bottles in person. Oh yes, they're because beautiful. Because I haven't seen them in person. They're beautiful bottles. That's what piqued my interest Ooh. in the first place. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Really, I really like this one a lot. Really yummy, wow. So this is considered an oriental spicy, which I can totally see that. Um, and the notes here, okay, at the top we've got nutmeg, cinnamon. For the heart notes, we've got sandalwood, gayak wood, uh, cedar wood and papyrus. For the base, we've got musk, labdanum, vanilla, tonka bean, and uh, tobacco blossom. Mm -hmm. A very, very yummy fragrance. Yes, it's very spicy, gourmand. Oh my god, I want to eat this up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely like this one the best so far. So, it has a very Middle Eastern vibe. I guess that's what they're going for. Mm -hmm. Even though the owner or the people behind it are not from the Middle East, right? Um, well, maybe the oud I th writer or... I thought the guy who was not sure. behind with the oud is from like an Asian country like Malaysia or Thailand uh, or something. I can't... I, well, I know that some of the oud in here is from Borneo. Borneo. So maybe... Okay. Yeah, but I no. couldn't find a lot of information on this, this house at all. Well, this is really yummy. I, I would definitely get a bottle of this. It smells great. And it's also very, very clean. 
because sometimes it can come off rough, but this is very, very clean. I could totally wear this and I think beginners that are into spicy gourmands might like this too, Definitely. when some of it could be really heavy. I mean, it seems like it, it's gonna be heavy, but it's not very heavy. Well, I don't know how it wears though. I like the tobacco and the, the papyrus. Yeah. Which is one of your favorites, yeah, right? Yeah, I love papyrus. All right, so what's next? Next, we have Blessing Silence. Blessing Silence, okay. I like this bottle. Ooh, I'm Here's smelling. Your oud, yeah. This is rose and oud, I can tell. Here's your oud. Ha. Ah. Wow. Now I've smelled I've smelled so many rose and oud fragrances. Mm -hmm. This one smells so refined and so um, like all the dirt's been taken out. It's very very clean oud and rose. Yeah. Wow. Gorgeous stuff. Blessing silence. So I'm not really clicking with the names of these fragrances though. So I don't I don't understand where, yeah. where the names come from. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I think. Do you think if someone we're new to oud, would this be too much? They have to like oud and rose. Yeah. But I think if they like that combo, I think this would be perfect. I think, yeah. It's very clean. Definitely, it's not. Wow, I like this a lot. So the last two, um, what, was, what was the last one? Blessing Silence is this one. Um, the last one we did was... Breath of the Infinite, and then we had... Um, golden Powder. Golden Powder. Okay, yeah, Golden Powder and Blessing Silence are both really good. Breath of the Infinite was too fruity for me. <laughs> too light. Yeah. No, this is very, very good. Yeah, I, I do like the, the oud and rose combo in here, um, even though I'm not the biggest rose fan, but it, it's done so good in this fragrance. So you would wear this even though you don't like rose? Would you wear it? I wouldn't wear it, but I would like to smell it on- Other people. Okay. Especially a man. I think this oh. would be very nice on a man. Wow, it's really, really good. Okay, so, so we've got two bottle-worthy ones so far for me. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't remember the name of the previous one. Golden something? Golden Powder. Golden Powder. Mm -hmm. This is Blessing Silence. Okay. And this last uh, one from this collection is called Breath of the Infinite. So this is Desert Day Collection. So we've got Breath of the Infinite. So Breath of the Infinite is considered a floral woody musk. And for notes, we've got peony, freesia at the top, peach in the mid notes or the heart notes, and then in the base, we've got musk, ambroxan, and cashmere. This is very different from the rest. It's very, very fruity mm -hmm. and uh, not heavy, very, very light. And I guess in the desert, you're going to need some fruity scents because it's going to be really hot in desert to wear very heavy <laughs> scents. <laughs> this is very light, though, I think. It's very light. I can see this working perfectly in the heat. And for a man, I'm not sure it might be a little too feminine. Although it's not really feminine, it's just fruity, peachy. And as soon as you sprayed it, I picked up like the fruity, peachy it's, note. Yeah, it's, it's a little floral, a little too floral too, I think for, it just leans more on the feminine side. Feminine the side. Floral and the fruitiness. Yeah, this is not my favorite. So we've got two that are good so far and two that are okay, but I'm sure other people We'll dig these, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so the next collection is the Clum Garden collection. And this is called Dates Delight. Dates Delight? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wait a minute, so this is really yummy and, and gourmand. <laughs> and you know what? I just had a thought. We were, I'm planning on doing a video with you in a little bit um, while I had you here uh, comparing uh, a few of the fragrances like uh, Ombre Narguile. And so this is actually reminding me a little bit of that. Is it? A little bit. Especially, especially this one because mm -hmm. it has dates in it. But um, this is yummy. It's delicious. I think, I think I said in my video, this is like a gourmand lover's dream. But this is not part of the desert day. This is the Clem Garden. Clem Garden. Mm -hmm. And Dates Delight, which actually makes sense because there's dates in the notes, but this is considered an oriental vanilla fragrance. And then uh, what we've got for the notes is peony and dates at the top, tonka bean, caramel, coumarin, cinnamon in the 
heart notes. For the base, we've got honey, labdanum, benzoin, vanilla, and sugar. But very, very yummy. This one I would wear. I, yeah, I would wear this too. Yeah. It just reminds me of a date dipped in honey with spices on top. Mm. It's delicious. Very delicious. Okay, cool. All right, what's next? Next, we have grape pearls. Grape pearls. Grape pearls. Oh, wow. This reminds me of something I already have. <laughs> yes. Intense Cafe, anyone? On <laughs> <laughs> tall Intense Cafe. But this is actually fruitier. I think because of the blueberry. The blueberry and grapes, blueberry. maybe? And grapes, yes. This is considered floral fruity gourmand. And for the notes, we've got um, flowers or floral, floral notes and blueberry at the top, grape, uh, grape leaves, rose and coffee in the middle notes or heart notes. And base, we've got amber, vanilla, and musk. Really good. Yeah. I Yummy. Don't, I don't recall ever smelling a fragrance with grapes. So. I haven't seen it much, but I have um, here and there, and I forgot which ones. But I've never seen it with grape leaves. And this is kind of Middle Eastern, because now we're getting into Middle Eastern cooking with grape leaves and things like that. But I guess I don't really pick up the grape leaves note. Do no, you? No. Anyway. But this is really good. I like it. I would wear this one. Very fruity. I mean, it's not that fruity. And then if you take the fruity out, then it starts reminding me of... Um, Intense Cafe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or the other one, the Mancera version, uh, Rose's Vanille. Yeah. You know? Okay. Grape Pearls. <laughs> Another good one. Okay, next we have Empathy. Empathy. That's their newest oh, one. Yeah. I'm excited to smell this one. This one's considered an oriental floral. Wow, I like it. It's fruity. So we've got, um, okay, the notes are a little complicated. We've got raspberry bloom. So we've got pear blossom, raspberry blossom, artemisia for the top notes, tobacco, raspberry, fruity notes for the heart notes, uh, oud, benzoin, um, musk, spruce, and woody notes for the base. I mean, I like it. Fruity is not one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. If the fruity notes were a little toned down and we got a little more oud or something, this would be a, a winner for me. But it's not. It's not bad. I think for someone looking for a fresher take on an oud, might dig this. I think this is um, more feminine leaning as well. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't like it. Um, it's a little too. Fruity floral for me. Mm. Maybe it'll dry down differently yeah. and, and change, but first impression. It's not your it's not it's a little too fruity floral. Okay. I like it. I don't love it though. What's next? Okay, next we have Cypress Shade. Cypress Shade. Does that mean we're gonna smell Cypress? Floral green fragrance. Beautiful green bottle, and it's a very, very green fragrance. Mm -hmm. Wow. So for the notes, we've got lemon, bergamot, mandarin, orange, and uh, anise seed, or star anise at the top notes, pedigrain, mimosa, coriander, mint for the heart notes, and for base notes, we've got cedarwood and vetiver. A very, very green, minty vetiver, and this actually reminds me of um, Emotional Rescue by Mark Buxton but the mintier edition, whereas the Mark Buxton was all about vetiver with green fruits. So the mint is a little too strong for me here. I really like this. You do? I don't get a, as strong mint as you do. Um. Wow. I think there's that thing, you don't like rose and you pick up more rose. I don't like mint too much in fragrances and I'm picking up way too much mint here. I don't know. It's just very green. And I like the citrus with the green and then... Would you wear this then? A little then? bit woody. I would wear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the vetiver part of it. And actually, you know, come to think of it, that mint is drying down a little bit. So I, 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 I would wear this if that mint was just a little less toned yeah, down. Yeah, and it maybe with time it'll tone down for you. Cool. So Cypress Shade. Again, it's not one of my, uh, it's not one of my favorite favorites of the, the house, but um, it's not a bad fragrance. I wouldn't say no to it, I guess. Last but not least, Almond Harmony. Almond Harmony. It sounds like another gourmand. This one's considered an oriental floral. 
And we've got uh, orange blossom, almond, pedigrain, a bergamot at the top. We've got iris, jasmine, heliotrope, ylang ylang, rose in the heart notes. And then we've got tolu balsam, we've got tonka bean, musk, vanilla, and also we have peru balsam. So we've got two balsams in the base notes. I mean, I like this, it's all almonds. Mm -hmm. Nothing but almonds. Mm -hmm. So they've also got heliotrope in there, which mm -hmm. is also smells kind of like almonds. Yeah, I really like this because I love almond um, as a note, but I remember this drying down very powdery to powdery. Mm. They should have called this almond delight. But I, re <laughs> <laughs> I really like the, the opening of this because it's, it's like you said, all almond. Yeah, it is all almond. And I love almonds. I actually love eating almonds, love almonds in desserts. So it's, it's, mm -hmm. I don't hate it. The powdery doesn't bother me either. Yeah. So it's almost like marzipan. You know mm -hmm. what marzipan yeah. is? Yeah. So it's a, it's and anybody that likes or loves almonds definitely would dig this one. Yeah. Totally. You have to like a little powdery also because it does smell like it's going to go powdery. So that's it. That's it. What uh, do you remember the prices of these fragrances? They come into 75 mil gorgeous bottles. Oh, the bottles are absolutely They look stunning. like eggs. Mm -hmm. And um, beautiful like designs and um, um, I think 75 mil bottles they retail for about $220 at right. Lucky Scent. And then the one uh, crop 2016 which is the limited edition is 400 Ooh. because of the special super oud that they use. Oh okay <laughs> but everything else is 220 I believe so. So it's 220 plus tax at Lucky Scent so um, I can see someone buying it. You can see somebody just buying it for the bottle? Oh yeah. Definitely. They're gorgeous. Yeah. And I think uh, I was reading each one is hand painted. It's handcrafted in Italy. So. Well, they had a huge crowd at their booth and I've walked, I was walking by many times and I couldn't get in because it was just really busy. Yeah. But finally I, there was a lull and I was like slipped in and they gave me these samples. So I got to I can see why check them all out. They are so popular because, or there's so much hype right now because the bottles are just yeah. like I said, stunning. Stunning models. Well, cool. Um, I guess, guys, if you want to find out more information, I'll have a link below. You can check them out. Um, thank you so much for doing this video with me, Lauren. I'll have a link to Lauren's channel in the info box. She also has Instagram. I'll put her Instagram there as well. You can follow her as well. Uh, if you have any qu uh, questions or comments, please list below. Also, please uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Otherwise, I'll be back for, with more videos and giveaways in the near future. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Goodbye.